Hey guys, Naisha here, you know, just an average girl, and I'm here at the Food and Wine Festival here in Epcot. I haven't been to Epcot in a long time, and I mean, a lot has changed. And I mean, at first I always thought it was just, you know, around the world and all that stuff, but I mean, there's just so much more to it that is so incredible, and the food is amazing. I'm also here with my sister Natasha Aliana and we're going to be having an amazing time enjoying all the little food samples that they have around the world. So let's go. The Epcot Food and Wine Festival is a 75-day event filled with celebrity chef events, wonderful entertainment, and memorable concerts. Although we were unable to try all the places, the countries we covered, their food was amazing. That it makes your mouth water. And oh yes, it was so good. Of course I made sure not to overdo it, so I made sure to rent a scooter to help me along the way. Our first stop was at the Club Cola, where you get to try an array of different sodas from around the world. Beware of Beverly, as it is the most bitter tasting drink I have ever tasted. Try it if you dare. In order to get that nasty taste out of my mouth, we started off with Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. I've never tasted meat so tender and so juicy, and I love how the potato chips with the lamb gave it texture. I made sure to give those places my stamp of approval. I see why France is the country of love. After eating their creme brulee, you can't help but go ooh la la over it. France, you've stolen my heart. Of course, there were some hit or miss places like Hawaii and their teriyaki glazed spam hash. It was not good. Honest of honest opinions. I'm not liking it. Oh, no. I, I see why people don't like Purchases. it. As for Japan, I'm an admirer of its beauty and culture, but I was definitely disappointed by the taste of their sushi, despite how wonderful their presentation was. But I still gave it a pass. As the sun began to set on our first day, we took the time to check out the rides, like the Three Caballeros, which brings back nostalgic memories, and the frozen ride in Denmark, which I admire the fluent motions of the animatronics. Later that evening, the most memorable moment happened. So now after having a full meal, what better thing to do than to watch Boys, Boys to, to Men. Man. Seeing Boys to Men live was the most awesome thing ever. The crowd was hyped and we got to witness the most romantic moment as a couple got engaged and danced the night away. The music got me pumped and it was a night I could never forget. Boys to men, ABC, BBD. Mm -hmm. On day two of our food journey, we went to the west side of Epcot where we were introduced to foods that were more health conscious. And it was good. On a side note, if you haven't been to the Light Lab, I recommend giving it a try, as they mess with science, giving you concoctions that were pretty good, if you have a sweet tooth, that is. And yes, they were extremely sweet. As we began to wind down, you know, get it, wind down, we ended our food quest at Germany and had our last desserts. Okay, okay, I'll stop. So that was the Food and Wine Festival. The food was incredible, the environment was breathtaking, as Epcot has outdone itself with the many changes over the years. I am definitely coming back next year. But here are a few things I discovered on my trip that may help you to know. Number one, get a gift card. By buying a gift card, you save time by having the cashier scan your card as you pick out your dishes or drinks that you want to try. Number two, get a group. Even though it may be nice to go alone with your friends and family, you can each buy a dish from each country and share so everybody gets to try a dish. You save money and have a good time. 
And number three, weekdays are the best days. I recommend going at lunchtime to beat the crowd. As the sun sets, it'll get crowded. And please, avoid weekends as best as possible. If you have any other tips, leave a comment below. If you like this video, subscribe, share, and click on that bell for more notifications. In my next videos, I will be traveling to my favorite parks to explore what Christmas is like. I can't wait to show you. Until next time guys, this is Naisha Marine, and I'm just an average girl. Stay 